Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of your forecast. And once again, we're looking at, again, a few thunderstorms for tonight. And then also looking at maybe some more probabilities of some heavier weather as we go toward the early to mid part of this next week. Definitely something you need to know about and definitely something you should be weather aware about as we go into the course of the next couple of days. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you advised on on that. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, that's great. Again, blue bar at the bottom of your screen, that's the forecast scrolling on by. Or again, you can get our 7 to 10 day forecast available at wreg.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, anything about this netcast that we do or something you'd like to see on here, please let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com. Drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section and let's see what's going on wherever you happen to be for tonight. Mid south area or beyond and let's see again temperature wind speed uh, if you got anything in the rain gauge stuff like that let's take a look and see let's do some uh, amateur meteorology out there and see what everybody else is seeing for tonight uh, as of right now Ra Ra Bryant, are you watching Game of Thrones? I have not tuned in to one episode just yet. I was kind of hoping to read uh, Mr. Martin's books first before I actually saw an episode there. Quick check of the forecast into tomorrow morning for the metro area cooling off into the lower to mid 60s and then lower 70s with a decent amount of sunshine tomorrow. Clouds mixed with a little bit of sunshine, so again, dry at least for the kids heading to the school bus stop for the uh, one of the last times of the year coming up into tomorrow, but otherwise, again, a bit brisk, but not bad across much of the area. About as typically normal as you could get for this time of the year. Right spot on normal within a degree or two for the high and the low temperature. So if you want a typical mid to late May day, this was it. Temperatures, again, back in the lower to mid 80s for highs, mid 60s for lows, fraction of an inch of rainfall, Plenty of surplus, no sign of any drought forming across the Mid-South area, so definitely some good news on that. Record high of 92, which hasn't been broken since 1998, and a record low of 44 degrees since that was set back in 1945. Sunset just visible between the trees and the clouds from Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Still plenty of clouds out there, and temperatures back to around the lower 80s with more clouds expected. Rhodes College in central Memphis looking back to the northwest. A little bit of a nice silhouette effect as the sun begins to set on the northwest horizon. From Windy Country Club, those thunderstorms around Clarksdale, Mississippi, reflecting the setting sunlight and casting a very nice hue of some reds and oranges right there. If you've got a clear view of the southern horizon and you're within view, these thunderstorms should go out right now to take a look at them because there are some very nice colors going on out there. And you could also see that from around South Haven from those thunderstorm cloud tops being illuminated by the setting sun on the back side from the Baptist DeSoto camera in South Haven. Traffic on I-55 moving along well, but some gorgeous colors out there for tonight. So we could see, again, the potential for some very nice weather pictures uh, into the area for right now. So not doing too bad uh, for the time being for the, what we're looking at for right now anyway. So again, not looking at too bad out there. Have to uh, take a quick second. Sunset on the Mississippi River. Very beautiful out there for... Uh, early this evening, but panning around and going back to uh, focus in for just a second on the breakdown area for Memphis in May as the barbecue fest came to an end last night and now the tents and all the equipment being packaged up and heading back home once again. A very big kudos to the Memphis in May management because last night, well ahead of those storms moving on through, the management decided to end the contest early, to get the awards out and everything else, but then they ordered the evacuation of Tom Lee Park way ahead of the storm's arrival. That right there it was one of the smartest, most public safety-oriented, conscious-type decisions I have seen in quite some time. If you've ever been to a large sporting event, doesn't matter if it's football, baseball, NASCAR, anything outdoors, there is a tendency to kind of just let the public deal with the storms by going underneath the concourse or just choosing to sit on wet metal bleachers while a thunderstorm rolls overhead. Uh, but event planners for sporting events, things like that, have got to consider getting thousands, even hundreds of thousands of people to safety. And last night, 
storm damage did occur with 60 mile per hour winds. The results of last night could have been more than just awards for barbecue, could have been in injury tallies as well. That did not happen. So once again, a big kudos to Memphis and May for doing what they did last night. They should be uh, called out again to make certain that uh, in a positive way, as a meteorologist who have seen too many sporting events take a very lackadaisical attitude to stuff like this, it was very reassuring to see stuff like that. And again, confirmation of uh, the damage in and around the area for last night, including a peak wind gust of nearly 60 miles per hour reported by the equipment in Tom Lee Park. So that was uh, severe thunderstorm winds with all those tents and equipment and everything else out there. Could have been a lot worse, but again, everybody had mainly moved their way out of the park by that time, so given a chance to get through some shelter if at all possible. We are watching again this minor last part of a storm system coming on through, and you can see those blossoming thunderstorms on the southern part of the viewing area tonight, also getting a few very light showers taking place, which may turn into something else along this front that is moving through the area. So Dyersburg, the Boot Hill, I-55, Blytheville, you're picking up some showers here. No thunderstorms to be seen at this time. But then we go back down to the south. These thunderstorms about an hour ago were severe. So we did manage to pick up again uh, some pretty good activity there. They are kind of disparate, falling apart at this time, spreading out, and they don't appear to be uh, able to hold any strength for right now. But there is still plenty of lightning out there. If they survive, they might be within range of I-55 within about the next hour or so. But a little noisy in Clarksdale right now. Tutwiler, Shelby, and Rosedale picking up again some of those thunderstorms, and those are dissipating slowly at least. And as we go throughout the next hour or so, that's what we should be looking at. Memphis metro area at this time, not seeing anything going on from West Memphis across to Lakeland and Arlington and from Millington down to South Haven. Nothing happening at this point in time, so definitely some uh, good news on that for right now. So not doing too bad for the time being. Temperatures, again, not bad. Back in the upper 70s to the lower 80s for the most part. One of the cool spots after a little bit of rain and clouds out there. 74 degrees at Lee County School District in Marianne, Arkansas, so a little toasty for right now. Okay, running the numbers into late tonight through about News Channel 3 at 10. There will be that chance of some showers and thunderstorms, and there will be the possibility of some severe weather. Not much, but again, especially around southern parts of the viewing area, a couple flare-ups will be possible there or just about any place along that front as it makes its way on through. So be prepared for some flashes of lightning and rumbles of thunder out across the Mid-South. Now getting into very early tomorrow morning around daybreak, doubtful we're going to be seeing much of anything else. Clouds sticking around into northern Mississippi, southeastern Arkansas. Most of the rest of the area should be partly cloudy. And then through the rest of the day tomorrow, maybe some showers developing way back to our west, but that's all part of our next system coming on through. But nothing expected for tomorrow. Maybe by tomorrow afternoon, a few sprinkles just west of us, but confidence is not high about that. What's coming up afterwards, though, that is a very good indication of maybe some more trouble heading on through. Now, this is much reduced from what we had earlier today. The Storm Prediction Center is keeping a marginal threat for severe weather down around the southwestern parts of the viewing area, which means this will be the best possibility for severe weather, and it's not a great chance, but again, it is still a chance. So if you live around Clarksdale, west of I-55, south of Helena, west Helena, you need to watch out to see what's coming your direction. Now, this is significant. Because when you start seeing the moderate threat category, which is just one step below the top, this is a pretty serious and very strong storm system. This one coming in tomorrow looks to be even stronger than the system that rolled through the Mid-South last night. So we could be looking at a pretty decent tornado outbreak. Texas and parts of Oklahoma, maybe into parts of Kansas as well, south and around Wichita. So if you're planning on traveling tomorrow, anything, say, west of Tulsa, south of Wichita. I would watch this area very carefully if you're traveling into or through this area toward about uh, Oklahoma City and back into the northern Texas panhandle out there to see what goes on. Then that same storm system heads our direction so that by Tuesday, starting off west into the early part of the day and then moving our direction toward Tuesday evening, we will see yet another possibility of severe weather. It's going to be kind of a one-two punch. The first storm system moving through right now, it's gone 
for all intents and purposes. And Storm System one number two of two is going to be making its way through the area coming up again Tuesday late into around Wednesday. So again, we're going to have to be ready for the possibility of severe weather out there. So for graduation ceremonies, uh, outdoor field day activities at schools, uh, celebrating the end of the semester, travel, any outdoor activities, be weather aware, keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised on that. All right, through the rest of the week, temperatures back in the mid-80s tomorrow, a little bit above normal, but not bad. Chances of showers and thunderstorms start to refire by Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures turning a little warmer back in the mid-80s. Close to 90 on Wednesday with shower and thunderstorm chances pretty much throughout the entire day. Uh, off and on, not a deluge, not going to be totally through the entire day, but again, will be uh, that potential of some activity into and around uh, portions of the area. So we should see, again, the possibility of that activity going on out there for right now and could see, again, what is going to be a strong system coming through uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, John Mulliken, skydiver extraordinaire and a co-worker of mine at the Memphis Pink Palace Museum, Thank you very much for the endorsement. Good to be able to see you there and should be back with you here uh, relatively soon. Uh, schedules and everything else work at this point in time. Patty Anderson Park at our 73 degrees, calm and clear skies in Bentonville, Arkansas. Back in my uh, stomping territory when I worked with KFSM Channel 5 out there. Thank you very much uh, for checking in. William Skage from Detroit, 70 degrees with light rain. Uh, thank you very much for that one, and welcome to everybody else uh, who's checking in from either the Mid-South or all over the place for tonight. Temperatures over the next several days, again, through next weekend, it is going to be definitely a little warmer out there. We haven't just dived right into summertime like we usually do. The last few weeks have been glorious. A little warmer at times, a little cooler at others, and it looks like we've got a sustained period of temperatures just above normal, and that'll continue right on in through Memorial Day coming up next Monday. Also, the good news is that we did have some showers and thunderstorms for Memorial Day a couple of days ago in the forecast. Now it looks like that's not the case, but once again, this is still several days out, so this could change, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest. Either way, looking at some pretty toasty numbers out there, so hopefully your air conditioning system, unlike mine, is fixed and ready to go. So if your AC is up and ready, uh, good on you. Glad to hear that at least somebody's is working properly out there. Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Stay tuned for my forecast throughout the rest of what's left of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, and I'll be back with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live bright and early tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, Monday through Thursday on AM 730 and 1600. Sports Chat Extraordinaire, uh, some great guests on there, and again, a good opportunity for you, the sportsman, to ask questions of the guests and Bob and Josh. And again, you can find out more at TalkBackLiveNetwork.org and listen in on what's going on in the Mid-South area for sports. Uh, great opportunity to learn more with Bob and Josh there. Okay, one more check of the forecast, and as we go throughout the rest of the evening, whatever we have in the way of thunderstorms should be gone and out of the way with within about the next couple of hours. So. Just not seeing any major concerns out there, but keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and of course we'll keep you advised on that. Tomorrow morning, kids might need a jacket at the bus stop, as some temperatures out there may be dropping into and around the lower to mid-60s. It'll be brisk, but it should be comfortable out there, and winds will be fairly light out of the northeast. Mild tomorrow, temperatures back by the time the school bell rings for the last day. Uh, last portion of the day tomorrow, back in the mid-80s. So looking pretty dry. Won't need any rain protection tomorrow, so definitely some good news on that and not seeing any problems otherwise. We're going to be posting the latest edition of our exclusive environmental blog, Your Environment, coming up here within about the next hour or so. This week we take a look at wind power, what's true about it and what's not, and how you can power your own home with alternative or clean energy. And we'll also take a look at local and online events that you can participate in to help make the world a better place. More information at wreg.com slash weather slash environment, and we'll be posting it again to social media coming up here a little bit later on, so stay tuned for more on that. We'll be on a couple of minutes late tonight. Again, thanks to golf running over by just a little bit, but we should be on at about uh, 10.02, somewhere in there, so stay tuned for our latest 
uh, updates on all the day's news, weather, and sports. That's tonight at 10. And, of course, Todd Demers has more on your forecasts coming up bright and early Monday morning starting at 4.30, so stick around for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thank you for joining us for our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for information about the approach of that next storm system and your weather forecast updates throughout the rest of the week. Thanks for stopping by.